Got a package in the mail last night. I'm excited about it and I want to show you what it is. And here's the really kicker. I was able to get you a 10% discount. I'm going to give you a discount code so you can get 10% off on this, on an item like this or similar to this. And so you're going to be able to buy one of these for less money than I, than I paid for it. So here you go. Okay, you got the shop light out here. Well, it used to be shop. And let's open this up and see what came in. But man, I'm so excited about this, I can't tell you. I know what it is, but <laughs> I'm going to show it to you. Let me put the box down. Corvette made in the USA. That looks pretty cool. Comes with a nice zippered deal here. See how that looks? And we're going to unzip of this. And I'm sure I have some nuts and bolts in here, which I'll show you about later when we install this. But there's the uh, carrying case. And this is what we're going to look at here. Let me know what you think. So there you have it. Isn't that beautiful? That's going to go over the trunk area of the car. And it's got a couple of things in here. Follow this C8 Corvette on YouTube. And there's a, a color, like a, I don't know what you call it, some kind of a rendition of what the car kind of looks like. And that's me, Robert McCready, and that's the QR code that you can scan. And if you scan the QR code, then you're going to get um, go right to my uh, YouTube channel. The key part here is this is your discount code right here, Robert McCready. If you put that all in one word, you'll get a 10% discount. Now, why did I buy this? Well, for two reasons. One is the advertising value. I can open the trunk of my car if I'm at a display or a car show or something like that. Uh, people will be able to see uh, what it's all about, and this looks pretty doggone nice. And secondly is that when I wash the car, it will keep the water out of the trunk area, which is really nice too, so I can go in and power wash the engine of the car. They have all kinds of design options for your car and uh, take a look at these some of these are really really nice and you can buy them already made and these you can get in different colors like i've got mine in the ceramic gray color but there's all kinds for the c8 and uh, i think i think they're pretty cool I, re I really really like them and they have a couple other uh, additional things you can get for your car too c8 rally drive a very very good company i'm very very happy uh, with the quality of the product that they presented me with. This is really, really nice. Make sure that the cap sticks up like this, okay? So the flat side is going to be facing on the car. And this is like a little hat, and you put the screw in the top of the hat, and then the hat sits down like this, then the hat sits down like that, and this is how this clips on, buttons on to the... Uh, if you did it the other way, there'd be nothing for you to hook on to. It wouldn't work anyway. So um, I got all 17 of these ready to go, and uh, we'll continue. In looking at the diagram, it goes, uh, it goes up two, uh, two screws to the top, so I'm going to... I'm going to look at these two screws here, and by looking at this, that makes sense. It would go to, from here, that would be the last two, and then it's going to go all along the side. And what I've done is I've taken a little piece of uh, green tape, and I've just put it over the two screws that I'm not supposed to take apart. And all the rest I can, I can take apart for the snaps, and it will go one, one, two up here on this side. So. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of them along here. I don't know if you can see them all, but there's a, quite a few along here. <laughs> Sixteen of them, I think, all in total. So I'm going to do the first one, and I have a T... Let me see if I can show it to you. 
The one I've got out here is a T15. And T15 is the key. And I'm gonna go down to this furthest one out, which is this guy right here. So I've put this in the hole, and what I'm gonna do, of course, is go counterclockwise. And that screw is, actually, they're pretty loose. They're not that uh, tight. So this is what I'm using. <laughs> I don't have anything fancy. You can buy these at Lowe's and look for one that has a T15 on it. And if it has a T15, this is the one you're looking for. So I'm gonna take, I'm just gonna do one screw at a time. I'm gonna take this one out. I think I can screw it out by hand now. Yes, I can. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this one out. And then take the new one and put it in here. And use a Phillips screwdriver and screw that in. This is fun to do one-handed. <laughs> and don't, uh, the big thing to tell you is don't do a gorilla tightening on it. Just put it, snug it up nice. But don't uh, make it difficult. And so that's the first one. And uh, I'm going to do the rest of them. And I'll call you back when, I, uh, when I'm finished. So stand by and I'll get all of these done. The other thing I do is when you get the screw partially out, unscrew it the rest of the way by hand. And it lifts right out nicely. And then I'll take one of my new screws. And you know what I do? I put this in, and then as it gets in there, I make sure it's nice and straight, and I screw it in by hand, and just use the tips of your fingers to uh, screw that down in. And then when you get it almost all the way in, then take your screwdriver and finish the job. And like I say, don't put it out really tight, just finger tight, nice, and that'll work fine for you. Just a reminder, like I'm doing this last one right here, and when, sometimes when you're unscrewing it, you hit a little snag about two turns out and stiffens up and you gotta put this, the uh, torque in there again and, and torque it a little more to get it out. But once you get it out, just unscrew it with your fingers. And I only do one at a time. I've taken my time, and I'm doing one at a time. And the reason I'm doing that is because I don't want to get into a situation where uh, things get all wicky wonky in here. So I only take, I do this one, put the new one in, take this old one out, put the new one in, do it one at a time, and I think it'd be better off. Now the second thing uh, I have found is that when you're putting in the new screw, okay, I don't know if you can see that, all right, or not. Let's see, now you're putting in the new screw. When you put in the new screw, make sure you keep it pretty much up and down and turn it. And so what I'm doing here is I'm turning the screw and I'm screwing it in. That way you don't get some goofy off center uh, screwdriver and then when you get here finally when you put the screwdriver in here you only have to turn it a little bit and it's snug tight done so I got two more to go and that'll be it one more tip and this is a really big one and the only reason I know this tip is because I've owned this golf cart for about seven years now six or seven years uh, and it's been great but see all the snaps that are down here? And see the snaps up here and then right here and here? These things over time, there's a couple more snaps back there, but these things, and there's a couple down here, these things over time get really, really tough to get undone. And the trick is to take a little lip balm, doesn't matter what it is, I just happen to have this one in the house, and take a little lip balm and put it on that snap. Uh, the receiving, usually the, I put it on the receiving end. Just put a little bit of it on there and that'll make the snap go in and out a lot better. It's almost like 
you could probably use lithium grease or anything else like that. But I like to use a lip balm. It's easy to use and you don't get it all over yourself. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is before I put this on, see if I can do this one-handed. I am going to take a little bit of this lip balm and just twirl it around in there a little bit, just enough to give it a, a nice little uh, easy connection. I'm going to do it with all of the connectors here. And I, the, the only reason I'm telling you this is because I've had the experience with the golf cart for many years now, and that's, that's what causes the problem with those snaps not wanting to come off. So I'm going to repeat this again. When you put the screw in, put it in and hand screw it in, because I'm going to tell you right now, it makes it much easier to set the screw in there, and you're not going to get it all wiggly wobbly or off center, and you don't want to do that. So just take your time and softly put it in, and only do one screw at a time. I know I'm repeating myself, but I want to make this, this, <laughs> this installation was incredibly easy to do. So I'm just going to take the, uh, I'm just going to put uh, some lip balm on all the little snaps and then we'll come back. I could either put them on this end or that. It doesn't matter what end I put them on. Just put them on somewhere. So I'm going to give them all on that one. I'm going to bring it over here and I'll put it on. I'll show you what it looks like when it's all on. We're going to take this and walk it around and come over here. Come on out, get behind me here, be good. And we're gonna put this in here like this. Two snaps right here, one and two. And then We'll do the rest of the snaps. And we got the last snap in. And I'm telling you, put that lip balm on there because that really makes the snaps go on a little bit easier, I think. Uh, and this is what it looks like from the back. And uh, what's pretty cool is my card looks like this too. See the card? Yeah. And uh, the other thing is anybody with a cell phone can come over here and uh, go right, that'll take you right, the Q, QR code will go right to, the, to my, to my uh, YouTube channel. In fact, you could probably click on it right now and see if it goes there. Now, if you go onto the website, and I'll put a link to the website down below, if you go onto the website and you want to buy one of these, they got others with just the Corvette emblem. There's a lot of different things they have on their website. But if you want to, uh, if you decide to buy one, make sure you use my name, Robert McCready, all one word, and you'll get a 10% discount on your order. Don't forget to hit the, hit the like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thanks a lot. All right, hope you enjoyed this. Oh, and the reason they don't uh, say to leave this on, which is a good reason, is that this hook needs a place to go. And this looks much cleaner without that. Yeah.